hot Thailand. Let's get. Do not interrupt an enemy that is making a mistake. But it's also said, it is double the pleasure to deceive the deceiver. And let's, for example, say a customer is trying to deceive a salesman, and then the salesman is trying to deceive the customer. You break the customer, so the customer you know, will try to say, okay, how much is this suit? And the buddy's like, you know, calls up to his brother. Let's call first guy A, second guy B. Calls B because B is the head boss. Say, hey, how much is this suit? And the guy will say, $42 for this wonderful suit. Greatly exaggerating the price of this suit. And the guy will be like, how much for this suit? He said, $22. The customer heard 42 but he pretends to have heard 22 See? That's how you deceive it. And even though 22 is actually, you know, the higher price, because people think expensive is good. Right? What I'm talking about is how this customer not interrupting the mistake of the salesman, because you know he couldn't hear his brother talk about the actual price uh, of the item. But really, in fact, was the salesman increasing the perception of value? In the customer's head and in the end influencing him to make that purchase without directly suggesting it so and that is what I just learned influenced by dr. Robert B Cialdini PhD it's like why would people be so Machiavellian how, how, uh, how we operate how we actually operate versus how we think we operate and that is I think why people have a bitter you know have a kind of a polarizing view on Machiavelli is because our real nature can be very complicated anyway I hope you like that and let's see what have I got on all right oh check this out Nice uh, tag board watch. If you like uh, this one, click on the link below. Maybe you can have a $3,200 watch. That's right, YouTube.